Anyhow, there's water down here. Uh. She who mends carts can also fix mice! Yeah, I know. That little tidbit there is hinting towards Canary Mary. If you were, if you made it here without beating her in Glitter Gulch Mine and then wondering about the weird broken mouse. Oh, hey, it's a Globo. You don't seem to be near... You don't seem to be near Mumbo's skull or Wumba's Wigwam. Oh, no, never mind. There's one. That's kind of far away from Wumba's Wigwam. Oh, hey. You have a Jiggy. This is an eyeball plant, but we can't do anything to him just yet. Oh, hey, what is going on over here? Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. Oh, uh, what happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give a little push. Oh no. We murdered his wife back in Hailfire Peaks to get a Jinjo. Uh. Let's not tell him that. Well, he wants us to push him, so. Rat a tat rap. He's afraid of heights, but he's willing to fall all the way back down. No! Wrong side! Tell Mildred I love her! Yeah! The game developers were kind of sadistic in this game. <laughs> there are two, there's like a married couple of ice cubes, and your only option to get 100% is to murder them both brutally. You have to blow up Mildred, and you have to melt him in that pool. Because remember how... He fell into that boy scalding hot pool of water, and we pushed the switch in there, and the pigs were like, We can't use that water! We'll roast alive! Well, a single ice cube was enough to cool the whole thing enough, so now we actually can give the pigs their water if we want. Whatever. Someone's in the air! Defend the Jiggy at all costs! Yeah, so... These eyeball plants here. Ouch! The eyeball plants here we can only take out while we're in the air. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do right now with regards to that. But this is one nice thing, is Cloud Cuckoo Land is pretty easy to navigate just because there are flight pads kind of all over the place. Anyhow, there's a giant trash can over here. This, again, this world is so weird. There's no explanation as to why there's a giant trash can up here, but there just is. Kazooie Switch? Hmm. Remember to look at this fiend from all angles, because we got a tiny little hole back here. Remember Clockwork Eggs? Yep. They're coming to our rescue again. We actually are going to need cl uh, Clockwork Eggs and Cloud Cuckoo Land a lot. Inside the trash can. And here we go, there's a switch with a 4 on it and an egg symbol. If we blow it up with a Clockwork Kazooie Bomb... It'll so the explosion will push down the switch, and the Super Stash Deluxe will magically remember that the number on that switch is one. Yeah, don't even try to understand it. It makes no sense whatsoever. But that's how we're going to unlock the Super Stash Deluxe. <laughs> I'll take it. Anyhow, there's nothing we can do on the trash can here yet, because, well... Simply put, we haven't split up Banjo and Kazooie yet. So that'll take us back to the central cavern. We'll explore the central cavern in a bit more detail later. This is a mall area here. There's a mumble pad over there, and it looks like this is just a long block of nothing, so nothing we can do here just yet. Yeah, we actually can't take out the eyeball plant just yet. If we go down here in this pool, though... 
pool of water, and we've got the little Kazooie boulder here. We can use Talon Torpedo, remember that move? And destroy this. That'll open up a grate, and it's gonna drain this pool of water. And send it spraying down to the Isle of Hags. And the eye of the Isle of Hags, which is, as you may have guessed, Pterodactyland. Yeah, remember way back here where Drippy needed the water in his pool? We're giving it to him! We're a little late, Drippy, but here you go. Drippy, my pool's full of water. Where did it all come from? Tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. Did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. And that'll just give us a Jiggy, but even though we're present in Cloud Cuckoo Land here, that Jiggy counts towards Pterodacty Land. All right, also fun fact, when I first destroyed this and got the Jiggy from Dippy, I had never met Dippy in Pterodactyl Land, so I had literally no idea who this heck this guy was or what their conversation was about, but eh, I didn't complain, it was a free Jiggy. Oh, there are these nice little footholds in the wall that we can use to get up and out. Let's go back to the central cavern, though. This whole area has been drained of water. Funny how that happens. Claw climber boots? What are these for? I see footprints on the wall over there. Ow. Hey, buddy! <laughs> we got a number of your safe. Any new dialogue? Remember, fleshy ones, if you can find my combination, you're welcome to anything that's inside me. There's actually no Jiggy inside. <laughs> it's literally just like a grocery list. The person who bought the Super Stash Deluxe didn't really actually have anything valuable to stash there. <laughs> they were just a safe enthusiast. Oh, hey, and here is Mumbo's skull. We don't have... Actually, we do have a Globo. We had the Globo from Humble Wumba. Let's try to find the Globo nearby, though. Egg here, we're gonna need Kazooie to hatch that. Man, I've forgotten I've forgotten a lot about this world. It's been a very long time since I've actually explored here. No! It is extremely difficult to slowly walk down the walls with the claw climber boots. Like it, it it's possible, but it's very difficult. The heavens have to align just right. Anyhow, let's slide all on here. Ah! Snapdragon, I didn't even see you! Ouch. Alright, fine. Hey, hot dog man, can you please just leave me alone? I want to be alone. Okay, yeah, the claw climber boots can be used to hop up there quickly. It's not really needed, but it's it's an option. Okay. Be w aware of snapdragons. Once again, we're gonna uh, cla uh, clockwork Kazooie bomb through here. Go along this long passageway covered by gelatin. Yeah, there's a lot of gelatin in this world. It's not something you see in most sky worlds. There's another combination switch. Second digit is nine. Thank goodness he remembers which order the digits are. And thank goodness he can enter any of the digits in any order. And he gets telekinetically alerted of any time we press a switch with a remote bomb explosion. 
Yeah, again, this world makes no sense, but it's still fun to play it. <laughs> Get a little bit of everything in this world, which is kind of cool. Is there anything interesting over here? We have super speedy shoes. Do 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 do. Oh, we've been here before. However, we can get our flight pad back. Hey, Zubba! Wow, we haven't seen the Zubba since the first game. Oh, wait, no, it's not a flight pad. That's a mumble pad. That's right. If you can't find a flight pad, it can be a little annoying to navigate the world, but honestly, we can always just warp back to the entrance. Worst case scenario. Jumbo! second. Actually, wait, is that an actual hole? Oh, that's just, no, they just painted a hole on the wall, but it's not actually a real hole. Aw, oh, man, I thought that was another area for the Super Stash Deluxe. If we do something stupid. Oh, no, we can't actually jump. <laughs> No! Why didn't it let me hover? No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I don't want to die. No, I don't want to die. Please, Pedro. Please, Pedro. Don't, don't slide down. No! <laughs> it's okay. We have the fallproof cheat. <laughs> I guess that's the one vein. It's very easy to die in this world just from falling into a bottomless pit. Other than that, though. All right, we're gonna go to Wumpa's Wigwam, and we're gonna use the transformation. The transformation on this level is the best transformation in the whole game. Very, very useful. Last Wumpa in the game. You have global. Want to give to Humba? Yes, please. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready, jump in Wumba Pool. Yeah, the transformation on this level is amazing. Remember him? Wumba called this B. Press A to jump and A again when in air to fly. Use control stick to steer and press A to fly higher. Also press Z for steener attack. So the B was already the best transformation in Banjo Kazooie 1, but it's even better in this. Not only do we have infinite flight on a level that is very, very nice to be able to infinitely fly around, we can also actually attack, making it just definitely the best transformation in the entire game. Also, we can hold B to fly faster. We can do first person stingers, and that's how we destroy the eyeball plants. Quick, you fool! Pass the jiggy on! So as the bee, we're going to have to go around and uh, destroy all of the eyeball plants. Giant pot of gold over there. Take that. I'm going to teleport the GD over there. That's pretty high up, I believe. Oh man, I love first person view for the for the bee. 
Yeah. I don't want to know the logistics behind eyeball plants, but here they are. Oh, was it a different purple platform that they were on? I'll find it. Oh my gosh, it's a gelatin castle. Ah, uh, perhaps it's on the pot of gold platform. Or no, it's up here, I bet. There are a lot of- there it is. Blech. My rare eyeballist genium plants! You've killed them all! Yeah. They deserved it. Because they wouldn't just give me the jiggy. Landing with the bee can be a, lot, a little annoying. But here we go. Jiggy! Our first jiggy of the actual level, because again, the dippy one did not count. Also, at the very top of here... Well, first off, there's this way up here. Uh, not notes, but there is a little gelatin thing there with another switch behind it. More importantly, though, there's this statue of a Zubba carrying a target. I'm sure you need to tell me, needed me to tell you what it does, but here we go. We're gonna shoot it. Now shoot these lads of times. I'll try. There we go. Nice shooting. Why not come inside? If you can shoot that at like 20 times in 30 seconds, they'll open their secret door and we can go inside. But first we have to find where their secret door it was. Maybe we'll exit first person mode. <laughs> it's around the side of here somewhere. Oh, there it is. That little bit of gold. Let's go on in. Derek, we remember you. You stole our stuff last time. Greetings. As you can see, we Zubbas have a new nest to celebrate. We've arranged a little shooting game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, then there's an extra special prize for you. Do you will need any instructions? Sure. It's really easy. Just shoot my friends as they fly around. This seems unethical. Try to score as many points as you can within 60 seconds. Blue ones are worth 3 points. Green ones score 2 points. And red ones just 1 point. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. So, we literally have to go around and shoot bees. Not just any bees, his friends. He's like, it's a fun game. This guy's a terrible person. I mean, he's not a person, he's a bee. And we can just hold the Z button. Man, bees are supposed to only have one stainer, not infinite. This one can actually be a little bit challenging just because the bees can be rather small and they can be a little difficult to find. Because it's a large greedy area that they can spawn in. Oops, did I say it was tough? It's actually very easy. We already got both prizes. The fact that you have unlimited ammo and you can just hold the Z buttons and rapid fire is very useful. There we go. Nice shooting. You scored enough points to win second prize. 
It's a Cheeto page. There are a lot of mini games in this world, by the way. Amazing, you also got enough to win the first prize, too. It's another Jiggy. I think the Jiggies in this world are a lot easier to get as well. Much less involved. I mean, you still have the things like the Super Stash Deluxe and Mr. Fitz Olympics. But beyond that, it's a lot of just simple mini games. Where did the Chio page go? Oh, here it is. Do you want to play again? No, there's no point. He's like, well then get out, kicks us out. <laughs> 